Dog barking is an acceptable behavior only when it is minimal and does not happen all of the time. Puppies and dogs are a lot like children in a sense they like to make noise when they're enjoying themselves. Unfortunately, puppies or dogs that bark excessively can be annoying not only for you, but for your neighbors if it cannot be controlled. If you feel that your puppy or dog is borderline excessive with the barking, then you need to determine what is causing it rather than reprimanding the dog without any consideration as to what the issue may be. So let's explore what causes your dog to bark. Understanding why your puppy or dog is barking is not rocket science. However, you will need to be a little more observant in order to find out what triggers the barking behavior in your puppy or dog. A simple step to take when your puppy or dog begins to bark is to investigate what has heightened his or her interest. If you work during the day, you could set up a type of visual recorder to monitor what goes on while you're away. You can also go as far as making your puppy or dog believe that you have actually left the house and just listen to see if you hear anything. Most barking triggers outside of playing can typically be grouped into categories such as territorial, isolation, boredom, and anxiety. So what steps can I take to stop my dog from barking? Young puppies or adult dogs younger than three years of age typically have high energy reserves that need to be relieved frequently. Take your pet on frequent walks and teach him simple tricks like fetch in order to give him a physical outlet that you both can enjoy. Fetch is a great choice of exercise that you do not have to exert the same amount of effort your pet does and get great results. Socialize your puppy or dog with other animals and people. Introducing your pet to new things can relieve their instincts to bark in a protective and territorial manner. Make sure you have plenty of dog toys and chews laying around for your pet to indulge himself in to remove the tension and anxiety of being alone. So what should you not do? When trying to eliminate the excessive barking behavior in your dog, remember that a lot of what you do influences your dog. Often dog owners promote this behavior inadvertently by encouraging their dog to bark at something that has captured the owner's attention. For instance, perhaps there's another animal in the yard and you tell your pet, get him boy, and give him praise for doing so. This type of influence will undermine what you're trying to train your pet not to do, so do not do it without expecting some type of repercussion. In conclusion, Dog barking is one of many unwanted behavioral problems that come into play when trying to train your dog. Make no mistake, dogs and puppies will often trade one behavioral problem for another, and that is why you will want to gain more knowledge in the dog training field so you can handle each one appropriately. So hang around, check back with us, or better yet, sign up for a free informative newsletter as we constantly provide free information and tips on dog training techniques at dogtrainingwizard.net.